This video is sponsored by Facecheck. Facecheck is an app for League of Legends that pretty much has it all. We got the pick and bans tab. Now, I'm pretty lazy when it comes to banning, so I look at this, I see Zed has a high ban rate, and I take it. Banned. We got the team stats here. It's pretty simple. It's got all you need to scout your teammates. And my favorite type of all, the runes and items. Say you last minute picked Vayne top lane. Facecheck will detect that. You can press push or, and the best runes and spells will be imported into your game. You can adjust it however you like it. It's pretty nice. Facecheck also has in-game features such as tags. You can see weaknesses and strengths of a player. So yes, in gold per minute, damage dealt in the last fight. There's even post-game analysis to tell you you're making too much money at 19 minutes and not spending it. I honestly recommend this app. It's good. So thank you, Facecheck, for sponsoring this video. If you're interested, use my link in the description. Tom Kench top is one of my guilty pleasures. I despise people who play Tom Kench top but I also enjoy playing Tom Kench top. So when I saw in the upcoming patch that Tom Kench top was getting absolutely gutted, I was conflicted because a part of me was like, yeah, fuck Tom Kench top players, nerf them to the fucking ground. And then I was like, I'm Tom Kench top player. But the bigger confliction was that I just discovered lethal tempo on this guy and it is fucking amazing. It had the most potential yet. And I can't believe that is just going all away next patch. I think most of you feel no sympathy for a top Kench player. I gave them a pretty bad name two and a half years ago with my BM guide. But with these nerfs, a lot of top Kenches aren't gonna have a home anymore. And all I ask is that, don't remember this guy as the trustee of top lane. His He's much more than that. This might as well be my final video on Top Kench. This might be the last time you ever see a Top Kench. And I don't think anyone realizes that. Which is why I'm going to make the effort to not BM anyone in this video. Because I don't want their last impression of Top Kench to be a bad one. Before he's gone. That's why after dodging Aurelia's E and getting three free stacks onto Aurelia and then eating her, I am not going to spam control 4 because I wanted to put a good name for top Kenches for once. And I was feeling good. I was feeling wholesome. That's when Blitzcrank flashed over. So I flashed in pursuit and died. And then Aurelia said top diff. Top diff, huh? Fucking bitch. <laughs> That's when Leeson said Brian Diff. Brian Diff, huh? And that was just a one off. I said to myself, it doesn't matter if two people of the minority sees Tom Kench for who he truly is. And then I accidentally be a Malphite for no reason. So three people, three people. It was then at this time I saw Malphite coming back from the river for some reason. So I used this opportunity to cut him off. Hi Malphite, where the fuck did you come from? As Malphite was running away, I thought about letting him go, just for what I did earlier. But then I thought, that might be BM. So I just killed him. I was getting ready to tower dive Malphite at full HP, but that was when Shen came out of nowhere. So I killed Malphite anyway, and then I killed Shen. I then pushed the wave in a little bit before going to the deeper bush and waiting for Malphite to come back from base. That's when I thought to myself, Malphite already hates me. I mean, I'm level 6 and he's level 3. It wouldn't hurt if I just control for a couple more times. Maybe just, just one more time. Just one more time. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. That's it. That's it. That was when Malphite left the game, forcing Shen to cover top. So I tower dive Shen and I had to eat him to get him away from the turret. But as I was eating him and walking away, I just started getting really itchy. Like, really itchy. Unbearably itchy. And then all of a sudden, 15, 20 games passed. And I just couldn't stop. What the fuck? They remade Windows Movie Maker? Let me just drag that there. 
And do they have the rainbow effect? Lethal Tom seems nuts. Sure is, kiddo. That's when I invited Timo if he wanted to hear my old tale. Enlighten me, sir. Oh, when I was still a young fella like you. Unfortunately, I ran out of time because we lost. Add friend. So there I was in the top lane playing my lethal tempo Tom Kench. I remember it all so vividly. I had a mission to carry out to leave a good lasting impression on Tom Kench before we were all eradicated. Eradicated. But I did the exact opposite of that and left a foul impression. I was about three levels on this teammate by then and I decided to tower dive him when we were both full HP. That's when I misplayed and didn't activate my shield and died. Timo proceeded to call me a literal shit-stained useless fuck and he had every right to call me that. And all his boys started calling me names like Brian from my pack of Winnie's Golds and that my last name is Johnson or Smith and that I can't swim. And that's when I realized why I must carry out my mission at all costs. I majored them a Q on Teemo, so I followed up with a W. I waited out the Teemo blind, before oddowing and licking him to death. Teemo wanted to catch his wave, so I blocked him. I blocked his way. I then got three stacks on him, before he could blind me. I W'd over this war, so Teemo would never suspect me coming. By the time he sees me, it's already too late. I've overlapped him and he can't get away. I call this one. The Control 360! Yeah, I'm just gonna add him and give him a skin code. I gave skin codes to his friends as well in case they flamed him for going 0 and 10 that game. And so finally, I have put in a good name for Tom Kench before his patch through bribery, but that's okay. Goodbye, Top Kench.